what purpose does the gentleman from Pennsylvania seek recognition? Madam Speaker, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 33, printed in Part B of House Report number 114-325, offered by Mr. Costello of Pennsylvania. Pursuant to House Resolution 507, the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Costello, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Pennsylvania. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that the amendment be considered as read and printed in the Without record. objection, the gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman will start. I rise to offer this simple bipartisan amendment with my fellow Transportation and Infrastructure Committee member, Representative Dan Lipinski of Illinois. Madam Speaker, this amendment would make a minor modification to the Nationally Significant Freight and Highway Projects Grant Program. This amendment would not change any dollar threshold or increase funding to the program, nor would it increase the cost of the overall bill. Under the program set forth in the bill, large grants, as they are defined, meaning those in excess of $100 million, are eligible for four types of programs. One, freight projects on the National Highway Freight Network. Two, highway or bridge projects on the National Highway System. Three, intermodal or freight rail projects on the National Multimodal Freight Network. And four, railway, highway, grade crossings and grade separations. However, the bill sets aside 10 percent of pro program funding for small projects defined as those projects that are less than $100 million. However, the bill only allows one of the previously mentioned four programs, freight projects on the National Highway Freight Network, to be eligible for this reserved small project funding. Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, in my home state of Pennsylvania, the structural integrity of our, of our aging bridges and roadways is a major concern of my constituents and a personal priority of mine. I seek to add the other three uh, programs uh, to be eligible uh, under the small projects uh, definition. So I ask, should a 50 or $95 million project to restore a crumbling bridge have less of a shot at program funding than a $100 million project? Or for the 55 short line railroads in Pennsylvania, including three in my district, if they would otherwise be eligible for program funding to improve roadway grade separations, why should they not be eligible to compete for those dollars set forth for small projects? Madam Speaker, this amendment addresses this discrepancy. Uh, with that, I yield, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from